Today we're going to take a look how to make this modern ASCII animation with pixels here in After Effects. I'm going to go with this animation as a reference. If you want to check out how I made this, I'm going to leave a link in the description. I also got to show you the composition size, composition settings. So basically I'm going to go with 1080 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 5 seconds. I renamed this as footage and this is how it looks. After this, I'm going to go here, right click and create a new composition. Rename it as shape one. Let's go to the width and height and I'm going to type in 27 by 27. Let's click OK. Let's go and double click on the rectangle. This is going to fill up the page. Here you can change up the colors if you will. I'm going to press the letter S, scale it down a little bit. I'm going to go with 85. Let's go back to the project, right click new composition, rename it as ASCII. And for the width and the height, I'm going to go back to 1080 by 1080, which is basically the footage size. Click OK. And I'm going to go make it fit. And now let's go and select the shape one, press and hold control and select the footage as well. And let's go and drag and drop it into the ASCII composition. Now I'm going to select the layer with the footage, bring it on the top, select the footage. Let's go to effects and presets, type in mosaic and drag and drop it on the footage. And here we're going to need to set up the size, the horizontal and the vertical. So the horizontal and vertical size of the blocks has to be the same size as, if I zoom in, of the shape one. This is the shape one. As you can see, we got here the composition with the shape one, which is 25 by 25 pixels. So I'm going to go back to the ASCII comp and let's go to the horizontal block. So I'm going to go and type in the width or the height of this composition. So this is 1080 and it's going to be divided by 27 pixels from the shape one. Let's hit enter and it's going to give you the value of the 40. I'm going to select the 40, control C and copy paste it to the vertical blocks. So I'm going to select the shape one and I'm going to go to the align, align it to the left and align it to the top. So it's going to be right here in the corner. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in a repeat tile. Let's select the CC repeat tile and drag and drop it on the shape one layer. Let's go to expand the right and I'm going to increase the number all the way to fill up the page. Press control C and I'm going to go to expand down and copy paste it right here. So basically this is how it should fill up the page that the mosaic pixels are matching perfectly with the shape one. Now let's go down to shape one and I'm going to go to the track mat and change it to footage. If you don't have the track mat, you can click on toggle switch. So this way it's going to appear or disappear. Now let's go and select the footage. I'm also going to activate the sharp colors and I'm going to go to the effects and presets, type in extract and drag and drop it under the mosaic. And here we're going to play around with the white point, which is going to increase or decrease the pixelation. So I'm going to go and decrease the white pixel. I'm going to go to 95. Now let's deselect them and select both layers. Press control D to duplicate. I'm going to bring them on the top. Now let's go and select the footage and we're going to go to the white point and I'm going to increase the white point. I'm going to go with 175. Let's go back to the comp, deselect the two layers, press and hold shift, select these two layers, press control D to duplicate again and drag it on the top. I'm going to select the footage and here I'm going to go and increase the footage even more. I'm going to go with 228. Actually, I'm going to go with 222. So let's go down, deselect, select the shape and the footage again, press control D again, bring it on the top deselect, select the footage and bring up the white point even more. Let's go down, deselect, duplicate it again, repeat the process. And here at the footage, I'm going to increase it all the way up to max. All right. So now we're going to need to replace the shape ones and I'm going to go to project and here I'm going to select the shape one and I'm going to press control D four more times. So now we've got five copies. And what I'm going to do is go to the second shape one here. And let's go up here to the comp to shape two. Now press and hold alt, drag it on the shape one. And this is going to replace it to the shape two. Now let's go and select the other shape one. Let's go to shape three, press and hold alt, drag the shape three on the shape one and continue this process. Select the last shape and replace. So actually shape five should be on the bottom here. So I'm going to bring it up on the bottom. I'm going to go to shape four and bring it above shape five, shape three, above shape four. Now this is a little bit more tricky. So this is how it should look. So I'm going to go to the shape four and I'm going to make this color black. And let's go back to the SG. I am also going to add a background color. I'm going to put it all the way down. 
for the shape one, I'm going to go with white. Let's go back to SG. And then for the rest, I changed up with other shapes. So for example, I can go to shape two. I'm going to add another shape, make it black, I resize it. And let's go back to the ASCII comp and it's going to replace it. And basically that's how you're going to replace every each shape one by one. And that's it. Thanks for watching.